kuwasomea neno ambalo tumekuwa tukisoma hapa kitabu cha ufunuo mlango wa saba, mstari wa tisa, hadi kumi. nasema hivi baada ya mambo haya nikaona na tazama umati mkubwa ambao hakuna mtu aliyeweza kuhesabu kutoka mataifa yote na makabila yote na vikundi vya watu na lugha wamesimama mbele ya kiti cha ufalme wa, o, na mbele ya mwana kodoo wamevikwa kanzu nyeupe na kulikuwa na matawi na mitende mikononi mwao nao wanaendelea kupaza sauti kubwa wakisema wokovu unatoka kwa Mungu wetu anayeketi juu ya kiti cha ufalme na mwana kodoo na malaika wote walikuwa wamesimama wakizunguka kila kiti cha ufalme na wale wazee na wale viumbe hai wanne nao wakianguka kifudi fudi mbele ya kiti ki, e, kila kiti cha ufalme na kumwabudu Mungu akisema amina baraka na utukufu na hekima na kutoa shukurani na heshima na uwezo wa nguvu ziwe kwa Mungu wetu milele na milele amina hata kama hatutapatana hapa maombi yetu ni kwamba mtakuwa kwenye hiki kikundi kikubwa ambacho kitakuwa kimekusanyika kime mbele za Mungu. Unapoenda campus utafuta kazi nyumbani macho yako yawe yamelekezwa kwa msalaba. Sababu tunataka kumsikia na kuona Yesu zenu tukikutana pale mbele za Mungu. Anangetaka kuwafanya transformation in God's name especially my initial understanding of what I ought to have been gospel is transformed knowing that gospel is just about Christ dying for our sinfulness and I'm grateful to God for that. And I've learned that the one important life skills about working together as a team and understanding one another Uh, we we are people from different regions people have different attitudes and so when we stay here for a long time together i've learned to to learn to cooperate with, with each other i've also learned about the gospel um, it's through this place that we got born again and i thank god for that and on the side of uh, spiritual growth i think i've learned how to interpret the bible clearly and to teach it faithfully of which i think after year i will do and, and also i think interacting with these people from different regions it has been really great uh, i'm really grateful for that at understanding the things i'm one of the commenters around <laughs> <laughs> at least i've known how to cope with the people and then i just was like you know like don't want to go and we just live with them <laughs> and to find which is really helpful. Uh, I think uh, something helpful is uh, I learned what I was here is a good, the Bible is one story from Genesis to Revelation. I think that has helped me in my study of the Bible and it's one story with one subject that is Jesus Christ. The old pointing to Jesus, the new testifying of Jesus. So I think that has been really helpful. We'll be reading from uh, your theme verse for this transformed. Your focus has been Colossians chapter what? 2 and verse 6 to 7. Then your faith will do what? Will grow strong in what? In the truth that you are taught. You have been taught some wonderful truths in transformed. You have begun to believe that there is more I can do for me to again feel accepted by Christ. They wanted to believe in something they call legalism. Or in short, you know, there are some things apart from grace I need to do, works, so that then I can get saved or born again. So they were deviating from the truth. And so in this passage, again, Paul is reminding them the need for them, because you accepted Christ Jesus, continue to follow him, let your roots grow down into him, and let your life be built in him. Then you will grow strong in this truth. What are some of the truths we have learned from God's word and that Paul was speaking about in this book of Colossians? Christ is more than sufficient. Christ is more than enough. Please tell your neighbor and tell them, Christ is more than sufficient. Christ is more than sufficient. Paul 
Martin talks and he says, Christ is all we need. His death and work on the cross is enough. He did it. Okay? Christ in us transforms us. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. So for this transform to happen, somebody else needs to be in your life to transform you. Right? But Christ completes us. This is the truth that Paul wanted his church to embrace and walk as they believe this. Okay? And so Lord, as we continue to celebrate, we pray that what has begun here will go out and change the nations and change our country and change the And Lord, when the enemy comes like a flood, I pray for each and every one of us here, you will lift us up, lift up our stomach, that God will be transformed to Christ like this in every way. For Thank your you. life as you head off to college, as you go to face your future, Amen. I want you to pray for yourselves so the grace of God will carry you through. So the presence of God will go together with you. So the power of God will be evident in your life. So the gospel of God will also be real to you. It will be evident in your life. Parents, let's pray for these dear children and commit them to the God who is able, to the one who is able to keep them from falling and to present them to himself are perfect as he says in his word. Please speak a word of blessing towards them, speak a word of grace and strength and confidence in the gospel uh, in the lives of these young people. If any of them, Lord, is not convinced and is not yet clear about what the gospel is, we pray that, Lord, you would help them to be clear in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that their lives will flourish for the sake of your name. We pray that their lives would be, would be different because of the gospel they have heard. We pray that their lives are going to be fruitful in everything that they are going to do. Father, may you always call them back to the gospel. In moments of temptation, call them back to your loving kindness. In moments of triumph, remind them of the sovereign Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. In moments of doubt, we pray, assure them of your ongoing presence. In moments of need and of luck, we pray that we'll know that you're the ever-sufficient God who is able to do all things to the glory of his name. Yes. So, Father, we thank you. We pray that as we release them from this program, that God, you will go together with them. May your presence go together with them and give them rest. Give them victory over every battle they face against the flesh, the world, and the devil. Lord, what they are not and they need to be, we pray, would you make them. What they lack and they need, we pray, would you give them. Father, wherever they go, we pray, may your presence be forever be together with them. Help us to support them and to love them and to care for them, even be you today. And help us to remain connected and close to the cross of Jesus Christ. In whose name then we pray. Amen. Amen.